Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to look into one of the Power Query function. Um, the ask here is, uh, again, this question was posted on Power BI Community Forum, but I'm doing this in a two parts video. And the actual question will be answered in part two, but this is a prerequisite or a, a smaller version of the question. Uh, basically what user is looking for, he has a list of keywords and he want to search the keywords into a different table and then get the value from that table and replace the um, the keywords in the main table. Uh, so we're going to use a list position of uh, function from Power Query, but let's look at the function first. So here in Power BI documentation, we have a uh, the description of the list position of function. List position of, so the first parameter is list, then value, then optional occurrence, like uh, how many time it uh, occurred, the, the, the value we are searching in the list. And then we at the end, we can give our own equation criteria. So this is what we will be uh, looking in more closely in our uh, uh, final uh, solution. So let's get to Power BI and take a look at it. So here in Power BI, I just created dummy data. So I have a list of cities, uh, which I wanted. So they are, in, uh, names are not correct. So, and uh, now we have a search and replace um, a table. So what I'm trying to do here is, okay, I want to search the value from whatever the partial value matching from my city in my main city table, look into the search table, even the partial value and replace the value once it searched the value and replace it with this. So this is the city name what I'm looking for. Um, I'm, so I'm not, I'm already have the solution developed and I will just walk through what I've, I've done here. So let's go step by step. So what I have is a, of course, the first step is city. This is dummy data and then the change type, it's a text. And then what I'm doing here is I created a custom function, which does this whole work. So let me make sure that I explain what we're doing in this uh, custom function. So the custom function is called search and replace. So the first parameter I'm passing is the city. So that's the value from my table. And then I'm from table column search and replace. So this my search and replace table. I'm passing a column, which is a search column. And that will become then a list uh, when I'm using table dot column uh, uh, search and replace table and the column name. So it gives me the list of all the cities we want to search the value of the search from search and replace. And then also I'm passing a, a, another column here, uh, which is a replace. So first is a list of the cities, uh, what I want to search uh, or the list of the values uh, from the search column. And the second one is a list of replace values from the uh, search and replace table. And then final, I extended it to, I also have a, a flag here, true or false, like lower case, like do you want to be a, a, a ignore case or exact match. So if it's a, I think ignore case, if it's true, then it's going to ignore the case. If it is a false, it's going to make sure that uh, it matches the case sensitive as well. And um, so what I'm doing here is I'm adding that as a function here in my main city table. And this is the values I'm getting. Uh, as you can see, the Vancouver, uh, it has like four R's in here, but the replace city is showing me Vancouver, Vancouver, and it's giving me the correct value. So let's say if a V A N C, if I go into this table, I have a, it's matching with the V A N C because I said like a zero occurrence or a null value for the occurrence. So it's giving me the first position. So it's replacing anything with the van with the Vancouver. So it's doing the partial match. Like it's a, if it's a EAL, it's replacing it with Montreal. And if I go into my, um, uh, this, let's say wherever there's a e -E L, it will replace it with the Montreal. So this is like anywhere. If the spelling is weird, many L's are here, it will be Montreal. And so basically this is our original cities. And this is what the replace value is after searching, uh, that, uh, searching the partial value from this city and getting us the replace city. Uh, so, so this is search and replace table, just where the metadata is maintained. It could be connected to some other source as well. Okay. So the core of the functionality is in FN search and replace uh, function, which I created. So let's look at that function. 
Um, what I have here is a, the, again the first parameter is search text what we want to search in which list we want to search this is the a search column from the search and replace table and the replace list again this is the all the values from the um, search and replace table uh, for the replaced column values and ignore trace true and false so the thing what we're doing is we want to find out the position uh, whatever we are searching in the search text uh, where is in the list in the position and then once we have the position then we can get the replaced value so how we're doing it if you, you as i said at the start of the video the list position of the first thing is search list what list we want to search so that is what we are passing the first parameter the search text what we want to search that's our uh, city name here this is list of all the uh, search cities or the uh, search search and replace column search column and then null i'm giving i think they say null means zero occurrence or the one occurrence uh, i just don't want to search more i just want one uh, matching and now the third one which is the equation criteria this is where the we are checking the lower and upper case and whatever the function we want to do so what what i have is it has two values search text and search value and uh, it, so, so search text is going to be our uh, our search text and the search value is going to be it's going to iterate through each uh, search list so that is what the search value is going to be so again just to clarify so question criteria is going to be search text what we're searching and the search value is going to be a it's going to iterate through the list of search list and that's what is happening here and then what we have we created a you know, within that function is equal to greater than is is of course a function so what we have in here is another sub query you can say m code so what i'm doing is new search text i'm storing the search text into a new variable or a a, a new um, i would say variable so why i'm storing it because i want to check the ignore case flag if ignore case is uh, true and uh, then we are converting the search text into the lower case otherwise we're keeping it as it is similarly with the search value if ignore case is true then we are uh, converting the search value to the lower case so that if we are convert ignore case is true it means both the values we're converting into the lower case and then they will match and if if we are ignore case is false so the values as it is will be used so it will not match because it's a, it will be case sensitive in that case and then finally in the output i'm returning uh, text contains if the search value uh, uh, is uh, w uh, a search value contains the search text right so if if this contains the text then what it this is going to return is after this whole function is done it's going to give us the search position of the search text in the search list once we have the if found and uh, now the final output what i want is a replace text because that's what i'm interested in so wherever the value matched with my search and replace rows and i want the replace value of uh, of the uh, replace column so here i'm checking if search position is minus one so minus one is no value found then return none because then it means we could we did not find a, any value in search and replace otherwise from the replace list which we passed as in a parameter based on the search position uh, give the value so this curly brackets is like a list in the curly bracket you can give the position and the position is uh, again start from zero as a as a starting point so now final output is replace text so this is what this function is doing again just to clarify passing the city and getting the search list from the search and replace table and replace list is a, a list of the replace values and ignore case true or false and then with the list position of uh, we are this is the equation criteria which where we are we're doing the ignore case check and then based on that we're getting uh, basically we're getting the search position once we have the search position if something found and then we are getting the replace value if not found then we are returning null so if you go back to our city tab, uh, table again so in this step again as you can see for vancouver it, it matched and it gave us these are the replace city and if we i had a city here which was not part of the search and replace i will get the null value in here and now once now i know this is my original city this is what i should be replacing it with and i added another step so what the 
Okay, here in the final step, what I'm doing here is I'm um, uh, using table replace value function. Then I'm iterating over, of course, each row, which is each city, and then replacing the value of the city with the replace city. So if you can, if you see in the step, previous step, we have, this is what our original city look like, and this is how the replace city is. Well, I'm just showing it. And then in the final step, I am replacing my city value with the replace city. I can drop it in this column because I don't need it anymore. Or one more thing I can do here is instead of doing it in two different steps, I can actually use the replace value function. Uh, let's go back to our, uh, I can take this each, this whole uh, each uh, search and replace uh, step, this function and uh, use it in my, instead of first creating a replace city column and then replacing it, I can actually use that function directly here. So wrapping it around here and uh, it should work. And now I can remove added custom um, row because I do I, uh, step, I don't need it. Uh, so basically my final output is going to be, so everything, I, I added the replace city column just to show how, what the value look like. So basically now what we have is if we look at the source, this is our source looks city look like and our final output is this is the final city look like it matched it searched the value in the search column here the partial value and then uh, replaced it uh, and this is the replace value so this this table can be maintained somewhere again if we want the exact match or other things the whatever we need to do is basically this is the this is the function where we will make those changes and whether we want an exact match. So see here is a text contains, we can have the comparison here. If we don't want it contains, we say, okay, new search value is equal to new search text. Like those, whatever we want to do is, so this function, we can tweak it the way we want it to, to get the uh, replace city value. I hope you find this video useful and learn few Power Query things, how you can how you can work with the uh, uh, dynamics, uh, partial search and, um, and replace. Uh, the actual question which was posted in Power BI Community Forum, I will, uh, it's going to be extension of this particular video and um, where we will use the record and some other 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 uh, uh, part of Power Query. Uh, do tune for that video. Do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye for now.